Joining us right now, the former Speaker of the House, Fox News contributor and author of the new book, Trump's America. It hits bookshelves on June 5th. Newt Gingrich. Mr. Speaker, always a pleasure. Good to see you. It's good to be here. Your reaction? It's a busy morning. Yeah, it really is. A lot on the table. So what's your reaction to North Korea's now provocative comments? Well, I, th I think what's happening is that the North Koreans are zigzagging wildly because <clears throat> I don't think, I think this all got out of, out of control. I think Kim Jong-un sort of said, well, I'd be willing to meet with Trump, never thinking because of the way the normal American diplomacy works. That's a two-year you know, let's negotiate before we ever get to the meeting. And then Trump says, fine, let's meet. And I think all of a sudden Kim Jong-un is looking around thinking, uh, you know, his entire structure has spent two generations building this nuclear system, have gone through huge privations. And so he, he, he's probably right now a little anxiety-ridden that if he goes to Singapore, he may or may not get home mm. because... There are huge elements in North Korea who don't want to give up their, their systems. And I think anybody who thinks that Mike Pence went out on his own misunderstands how small the White House is. I mean, it's like four doors down from the Oval Office. And I am confident, and it's like three more doors down from John Bolton's office. <clears throat> I'm confident that, that both Bolton and Pence have been trying to send a signal to him that, that we're actually not negotiating. This is what people need to understand. Yeah. What makes Trump different is he's not negotiating. He's saying, here are my conditions for your survival. That's right. Now, if you would like to survive, I'm happy for you to survive. If you'd rather not survive, then I can live with that. Do you think this meeting happens? Uh, I think it's even money. And I, by the way, I think Trump's playing it exactly right, which is to be very kind of, well, yeah, if it happens, it's all right, but I don't have a big investment in it. Uh, and the North Koreans desperately want to get out from underneath these sanctions, <coughs> which I think is a huge incentivizer yeah. for them to have the meeting. And they're not going to get out from under the sanctions without this meeting. Well, and I think actually that Secretary Pompeo's speech on Iran was actually a signal to North Korea. Because Pompeo, you know, goes, says, Here, here's what we're going to do to crush your economy. Right. And by the way, it'll get worse if you don't get the message. And I think that uh, this is a little bit like taking the two by four to the, to the mule to get their attention. I think what Trump has been trying to say to these guys is, we're just, and they almost ratcheted up before, uh, a couple of weeks ago, they almost stopped three oil tankers, and the Chinese begged them not to do it. And I think uh, you, you may see the next phase of literally blocking things. So I think Trump's saying, I'd rather be nice. If you don't want me to be nice, I won't be nice. But it's your call, not my call. I wanted to ask you about China. The, the, their <clears throat> ability, given that almost all of North Korea's trade is with China. It seems like they have the ability to crush them. So I'm just wondering, do you look at Kim as an independent actor China struggles to control, or is he basically China's sock puppet? Well, the reason it was called the Hermit Kingdom originally is their constant hiding from the Chinese. I mean, the North Korea, the Koreans are not Chinese. They don't like the Chinese. There's, there's genuine racial uh, dis discrimination on both sides. Uh, and they, the last thing they want is to be part of the Chinese empire. Uh, and I think that's part of why they're trying to find a way out of the box they're in, uh, because you're right, the more we squeeze, the more they depend on China. Now, they, they get a little bit of help from Russia through Vladivostok, but not much. Uh, the Chinese might be able to coerce them. But remember, if you're China, I mean, you really have this hard problem now, because do you really want to break the dictatorship in the north dramatically increase the relative power of South Korea and give the Americans a huge win mm -hmm. in your backyard. And then have a ton of immigrants coming into your, into your right. country from North Korea. 